Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at using the Fishman Triple Play with the Staff View in Sauna X3. First thing we're going to do, we're going to check on the preferences and make sure that in the MIDI device section the Fishman Triple Play is selected both on the input and the output. As you can see that's been done on here. We close that. Now we've got to add a MIDI track because we're going to be using the MIDI device to trigger the notes in the staff view. So we will uh, open first of all a new template to work with and we'll select normal. And we're going to insert a MIDI track. So we scroll down and there we have the MIDI track there. Now, to see the score being edited, we are going to open up the view of the staff view, like that. Now, on Sonar, they have got a step editor, and to activate the step editor, you press on the record or step button, and if it isn't selected already, you scroll down and select on the step record and let go. Now to start recording, all we have to do is we click again on the step record button, but we don't hold down this time, and it opens up the step record section. And on here, you can select whatever note value you want. You either want a whole note, half, quarter. In this example, I'm going to be using a 16th note. So the system's already fired prepared for us to start playing on the system. So now I'll just play through a C major scale and the notes will be entered onto the staff view as I play through. Stop the recording, I just press step record close it like that. Now if we have got any notes that have appeared as we play through, MIDI devices do pick up different notes as we play through, I can just click the select, highlight that note there and just delete it. So we've got the notes added uh, as playing 16th notes onto the staff view. Of course various ways we could edit that, this is just using a step process. Of course, we could also use it as a normal record process, um, so we're playing in real time. So what I'll do, I'll set the system up and we'll go through that. Right, to record in real time using the Fishman Triple Play, what you have to do is set up a track to similar to what we're doing on the step recording. Uh, what we're going to do that's different this time though, we've got to take it out of step record and just leave it in the normal record feature. Oh, I know I've put it on a keyboard sound here, a nice electronic piano, and we've just got a metro that's going to click along and keep me in the time. So I'm going to arm the track and start recording. I get the metro now working, and I'll play along with it, and you can see the notes being entered as we record through, like this. Now if I play that back, you better be able to hear it uh, along with the score. So then we have the two ways of using the triple play for scoring and doing notation. If you have the step editor, or just playing directly into the system as you record. Oh, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.